Hi everyone, it's Megan here from Physical Therapy and Balance Center in Hazleton. Today what I'm going to be showing you all is a technique that we use here in our clinic called myofascial decompression, which is otherwise or better known as cupping. So I'm going to show you specifically how we use that to treat patients who have tightness or pain in their lower back. Also later on, I'm going to be showing you some exercises that are gonna be beneficial to follow up a cupping technique with in order to get the maximum benefit out of that technique. If you like this content, you can subscribe to our channel or like the page. And if you wanna learn more, you could go to our website at physical.com backslash Hazelton. So Tinker is actually someone that experiences pain and tightness in his low back. So this is how far Ting was able to bend forward before receiving cupping. Definitely some room for improvement there. <laughs> so what I'm gonna do first is get some lotion down on the area, help lubricate it. And I'll just spread that around a bit. And then his, his pain is experienced mainly on the lower half, kind of on each side here. So I'm going to focus the cups there. What I'm going to do is use this pump here to help suction up the tissue. And we'll let the cups rest on there for about 60 to 90 seconds. And this is a technique, um, cupping and myofascial decompression that's used by Olympic athletes like Michael Phelps, so it's definitely something that's become a lot popular in recent years. Another approach that we can take with this is if we release some of that pressure, we can glide it along that tight area. So Tang has a lot of tightness on his left side here. So I will glide the cup up and down along that should feel like a gentle massage there. And then once that time is up, we'll just remove the cups. And there tends to be some redness in the area, um, could be some bruising, but it's only temporary. Another way that we can use the cups is by incorporating some movement with them while they're on. So what I'm gonna do here is grab Ting's leg and kind of bring his spine forward this way. It'll really help loosen up that area. Another technique is to add in more of a rotational motion, which could be limited. And then we'll see how much further he can move now after having that treatment. Go. So as you can see here, after having the cupping treatment, Ting is able to much more comfortably bend further forward. <laughs> so with any of these hands-on manual therapies like cupping, it's important to follow them up with the right exercises in order to get the best benefit. So we'll take you through a couple of those. So the first one here, I'm gonna have Ting with an exercise ball rolling forward. As you can see, we're working on getting more flexion and bending out of his spine there. And he can repeat that a few times, hold it for a few seconds once he gets to the end range. And it should be feeling much looser than it did before having the treatment. Another one that's simple to do is I'll have Ting rock his knees side to side, just as far as he can go without his shoulders lifting up off the table. So you're really working on getting those rotational motions out of the spine. And this is a simple one that you can do even in bed before you get up and ready for the day. Lastly, I'm gonna have Ting work on getting some extension here. So laying on his stomach and then pushing up onto his arms, getting that nice extension out of the spine. You can repeat that a couple times. So myofascial decompression or cupping is another unique technique that we offer here at Physical Therapy and Balance Center in Hazleton that can be helpful in loosening up those tight areas that you might have in your body, specifically if you're someone that has low back pain. If you're interested in learning more or have questions, you can leave comments on this page. Or as I said, you can go to our website at physical.com backslash Hazelton.